Hey everybody, it's Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I hope you had a great week. I cannot believe we are deep into November. It's crazy. Christmas is right around the corner. Christmas has started, right? The commercials, the stores, the music, everything. So today I have three Christmas projects for you. Um, I'm actually going to tell you guys uh, in a little while about a big 12 days of Christmas kind of celebration, Facebook Live celebration that I've got planned for the next couple of weeks. But we'll give everybody some time to jump on Make sure I'm in the right place. All right, I am good. Hello, hi Kathy, hi Sonia. It's good to see you guys. Thanks for joining me today. So today, sweetest time. I love this stamp set. Um, I love a good candy cane stamp. It's so easy, right? Just ready on white paper and you're done. <laughs> I always love uh, candy canes. And these candles are really cool. We've never had anything like this with the candles. Um, so I have enjoyed playing with them as well. Um, and then the fonts are always great. And then the dies are really, really interesting. Um, whoops, I'm knocking them off. The dies have these two long edge dies. Um, if you look at the catalog, the holiday catalog, um, that has the samples from the this uh, bundle. They're really interesting. Um, when you look at the dies, you can't really tell what they, they do. So I'm going to show you, we're going to make a card with one of them. And then on Monday, I'm going to make a box with the other one. Okay. So, um, we will be stretching the sweetest time over into Monday. Um, let's see, let me clear some things off. Let me tell you, I have a handful of these left. I think maybe four left. If you want one of the adhesive kits, the link will be here on the video. When I am done, I will update the link, okay? They make a great Christmas gift. I know some people have been buying them for Christmas gifts. It comes with a little bag, and it has, it's like a great little starter kit of adhesive, um, all from Stampin' Up, including the new Stampin' Seal and the new foam adhesive sheets, which are my total favorite adhesive. Okay, so those are available. Um, and I, I'm trying to see. Oh, I know. Look what just arrived. The paper pumpkin for this month, you guys. I have been so excited. I upped my subscription for this paper pumpkin a lot because I know a lot of you are going to be emailing me asking me if I have any extras. Um, and I do. I have a lot. And not all of them arrived today. I think about half of them. So if you're needing a paper pumpkin kit, um, I sell my kits for $25 that include shipping. All right. So if you want a kit, email me, please. Don't comment here. I'll never see it. Email me. So um, Erica at pinkbuckery.com and I will um, invoice you and then I will get them out in the mail. Look at it. Look how cute. So stinking cute. The box itself, you know, every now and then a box arrives it's smashed, but all of mine are perfect. Okay, let's take a look. Here's the stamp set, little gingerbread house. Do I want to give this away? I have something gingerbread related planned. It's right there for next week. It's so stinking cute. I cannot wait to show you. Um, anyways, this stamp set will go great with what we're going to do next week. Um, but, um, Happy holidays, more merry, a sweet treat for you. Gosh, that's a great stamp set. <laughs> a sweet treat for you. You can use that on all your treats, right? That is a really good stamp. And it's got little, like the scroll work, like that you would do with the icing. Really cute. Okay, so those are the stamps. The color, oh, cute, Blushing Bride. I don't know if we've ever had a Blushing Bride um, spot before. Oh no, Cindy, well, if you need one, let me know. Um, here's a little flyer. Look at it. These are alternates. You know, I don't know if you guys know, but there is a Paper Pumpkin Facebook page that Stampin' Up! has. And they, the guys that are at Stampin' Up! that are in charge of the Paper Pumpkin product are amazing. They do great marketing. They, um, they make videos. They show alternate product projects. So if you don't like what comes in the kit, you're like, maybe you don't like cards, or maybe you only want cards. If it comes and it's something that you don't like, they always have alternates over there for you to copy and uh, turn your turn your stuff in, too. Oh, look how cute. Look how cute. I think they're gift card holders. Okay, let's open it and find out. 
But anyways, you can go over there and you can also search on Pinterest for paper pumpkin alternatives. You know, I don't ever spend a lot of time with my paper pumpkin because I have so many other things to do. But the paper pumpkin alternatives are really fun because, like I said, sometimes you're not necessarily digging the, the <laughs> projects that are that month. Um, but a lot of times you have pieces left over. I think every time you have pieces, bits and pieces left over. Um, so uh, they give you ideas on how to use those. Okay, so little gingerbread house. And I'm already seeing like a 3D house. I could totally make a 3D house out of this. It's a cute little, let's see, there's different ones. You could totally make a 3D house. Look, just fold it like this. Maybe I'll have to make one of those this week, huh? For I'm gonna do 12 days of Facebook Live. So maybe this should be one. Look, you can make a box. Okay, sorry. <laughs> when when creativity, when an idea pops in, I just have to run with it. Little gift card holder, right? Um, so cute, little envelopes. Oh, so cute. Um, let's see what else. Oh my gosh, look at the stickers. Okay, I'm gonna take them out of the plastic. I was really, really excited about this kit. It is just the cutest. Look at, oh my God, look at the stickers. Can you guys see them? They're little peppermints. And they're like 3D, they're like dots, like um, puffy dots. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so there's that. There's also um, some other pieces, some little cut pieces. You know, paper pumpkin's perfect because like if you're going on a car, in a car trip, on a car, a road trip, so what I'm trying to say, you can take paper pumpkin, it's all inclusive. Everything you need is in here except for your scissors um, and your block. Everything else that, uh, other than that is there, even the adhesive. So it's super cute. How many um, gift card holders is it? Let me see what it says. Somebody will probably say it before I say it because I don't even know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Is that right? Oh yeah, hello, it says right above there. 15 gift card holders or a 3D box, which challenge accepted. I'll be working on that. I'm gonna set that over here. I can work on that this weekend. Oh, just drop most of it on the floor. <laughs> okay, so anyways, if you want a paper pumpkin, email me. Okay, Erica, E-R-I-C-A, at pinkbuckaroo.com. Speaking of email, you guys, again, having lots of email problems. I don't know. If you are an IT tech person and you know how to help me with email issues, my emails are not arriving to places. They're being blocked. Please reach out to me because I don't know what to do about it. I thought my friend... Chad Williams, he's our DDM um, at Stampin' Up. He helped me do some stuff, some techie stuff, and it hasn't helped. I almost think it may have made it worse. So if you think you should have gotten an email from me and you didn't, I probably did send it. It's just floating around in cyberspace. Um, you can always um, message me on Facebook. I'm not great with Facebook Messenger. I don't always get back to it quickly, but that may be one avenue we can explore if you're not getting my emails, okay? I do always answer my email. So if you don't get an email from me, it's not because I didn't answer you. It's because something happened to the email. Okay, real quick, I want to mention the All-Star Tutorial Bundle for this month. Whoa. Um, Forever Greenery, Greenery Suite 12 tutorials. All video tutorials featuring the Forever Greenery um, Suite. Here's my project this month. The tutorial is in here. Um, along with 11 others designed by other Stampin' Up! demonstrators from around the world. And you can get this by spending $50 with me online, or you can buy it um, for $15 in my PDF store, all right? And um, I usually send those out at the end of the week, although lately I have been bad, and I haven't been sending them out for like two weeks. But if you, again, feel like I should have emailed you that and you didn't get it, just shoot me an email. Thank you, Kimberly. They're new. Aren't they pretty? They're like embroidered. I like them too. Zoo Lily, do you guys shop Zoo Lily? That's a that's a rabbit hole you don't want to go down. <laughs> the only negative part about Zoo Lily is the shipping takes forever. They, I don't know what they do, but they kind of like buy in bulk or something and then once all the orders are in, then they ship it. I don't know, it's weird. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around because I have some things to show you down here, including my next class. Flip you guys around. Thanks, Danielle. You know, this color's weird. This is a new shirt, too. I was unsure about this color. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what happened? Siri, are you guys there? Siri thought I was talking to her. Um, 
this color is weird. I ordered it from um, Stitch Fix. I have it in another color and I like it. You know, when you get stuff from Stitch Fix, they'll say, buy it in another color, which I'm totally a sucker for that. So, but anyway, thank you. It's kind of a Cajun craze for all my Cajun ca <laughs> craze friends out there. Okay, let's talk about next week, what's coming. So next week is Thanksgiving week and Stampin' Up! usually has a big long, like a f uh, week long extravaganza. They're not having that this year. Their sale is gonna be on Tuesday. I think I'll jump over to that. Let me tell you about this sale that's coming Tuesday. This is the only Black Friday, if you wanna call it that, sale that Stampin' Up! is doing this year. It's on Tuesday, November 24th. That's the right date, right? Okay, suddenly I was like, that's not right. Almost everything in the annual catalog, this catalog right here, almost everything in here will be 10% off. There are some exclusions. This is the exclusion list. Um, it's not very big when you think about th how many thousands of products are actually in here. Um, things included are um, some of the adhesive, the, stamp, the cut and emboss machine is not included. A few punches. Just, I mean, like random things. There's no real rhyme or reason for what's not included. I think that's probably inventory. Um, if, they're, if they don't have a lot of inventory, I think maybe that's why. Lisa, you're right. This is probably more cinnamon cider. You are totally right. Yes. Sorry. I just saw that comment. Um, so anyway, let's think about, instead of the exclusions, think about the inclusions. So 10% off basically everything in here and my let's see there's a little bit of cardstock very vanilla whisper white looks like those are the only oh and pumpkin pie for some random reason are not included but everything else is all the other cardstocks would be so I would look at this sale as a stock up sale um also gift buying sale you can think about 10% basically as free shipping because once your order hits um, $69, then your shipping is 10% across the board. So if you order $200, your shipping would be $20 and you would be saving $20 on that order, okay? So they're calling it 10%, but in my mind, it's free shipping, <laughs> right? It equals free shipping when you spend more than, uh, well, basically $70. So Take a look through the annual catalog. There's so many wonderful things in here that maybe you want for Christmas, right? Or that you want to get for your sister or your mom or your friend or whatever. Um, but then also think about the, the stocking up. Um, you know, like what do you need? What colors of cardstock do you need? Um, are there some stamp and blends that you need? Um, take a look at all of that. Now I will link this exclusion list. Um, I don't know, Do you, you guys may want it early. Let's see what's on here. Um, I mean, there's just a weird random selection of things that aren't included. It's way more that's included that aren't included. Okay, so that's Tuesday. And in conjunction with that, and to kind of extend the excitement of Black Friday, I mean, I guess that's kind of what I'm, I'm calling it. I'm going to do Pink Buggeroo 12 Days of Christmas. I'm going to do Facebook Live for 12 different days, starting Monday. Now, I'm going to jump around a little bit because of the weekends and Thanksgiving, and I'm going to be out of town one day. Um, but what I'm going to do is every day I'm going to go live, and I'm going to show you a different product, except for um, Gnome for the Holidays. We're going to do that for two days because that set is way too cute to only spend one day on. So I'm going to... I'm going to Actually, this is on today's PDF over at Pink Buckaroo if you want to see it. Um, this coming Monday, you know, in three days, I'm going to do another Facebook Live at 10 a.m. Central using the Sweetest Time Suite ag or, uh, bundle again. And this time, I saw Jill on here. I'm going to show you how to make a box for the soap that she sent me. Um, I'm going to show you how you can measure something and make a box. And we'll use her soap Um as the example, because I, I get a lot of questions about that video I did a million years ago about how to make your own box. So we're gonna do that on Monday, 10 a.m. Now the reason that these three days, well actually all of next week is 10 a.m. is because my family is gonna be home all week and we will probably go do things those afternoons. So those will all be in the morning. Um, hopefully they'll all still be asleep <laughs> by that time. So Monday, sweetest thing, Tuesday and Wednesday, known for the holiday. 
And then Thursday is Thanksgiving Day, so I won't be live that day. Then Friday, trimming the town, okay? And then Saturday, I never do anything on Saturday. That's usually like a not work day, but I figured since I'm not working on Thanksgiving, I'll do a Facebook Live Saturday morning, next Saturday at 10 a.m., and we'll do Wonder of the Season. So then the next week, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be live every day at 2 o'clock. And um, we'll do Peace and Joy, Poinsettia Petals, Peaceful Nativity, and Gift Wrapped. Um, now in place of Facebook Friday, these two weeks are weird because I'll be out of town the 4th. So there will be no Facebook Friday on the 4th. So this week, this week and this week to get basically Facebook Friday projects for free, I'll pick three projects from what I'm doing and send you those for free. Don't worry. I'll explain that when we get there. Um, and then the following week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, warm and toasty, little treats, heartwarming. Oh, that's supposed to say hugs. <laughs> Not Higgs, hugs. Um, and possibly I may carry that out through the end of the week because um, there's so much in the holiday catalog that there's no way I can get it squeezed in in three more Facebook Fridays. So so that's what we're going to do. Now, notice a little asterisk right here, right? All times are central and are subject to change because things may come up like I may need to go get the kids from school or who knows. So times... Are subject to change but this is just kind of what I have laid out in my calendar and um, every day I'll announce the next day okay I'll put a little sneak peek and the time for you um, so that's what we're gonna do okay so it'll be fun I'll do Facebook live every day um, and oh the other part of it hello is I'm gonna be giving away big prizes every day big prizes. I have a ton of stuff to give away, bundles, okay? So every single day, um, there will be opportunities to win prizes. So I hope that you'll be able to join me um, for those. And on Tuesday also, I meant to mention um, with this sale, I have a little um, added bonus that's going to go with this. I'm still trying to nail it down. I have several ideas, but um, I have a little free gift for those of you that shop with me on Tuesday. So just keep in mind, I'll announce that on Monday, okay? There'll be a host code specifically for this day where you can earn some free stuff, all right? Okay, so that's, there's that. I I don't know, did I put this on today's blog post? Maybe I did, but if not, it's on the PDF, okay? Pinkbuggeroo.com if you want that PDF. Okay, so there's that. Now, you guys, are you ready for my next class? Boy, we're going to, I'm talking a lot today. So I told you guys I was going to make a calendar class with the menagerie mix-up. And let me just start by saying this stamp set and the, these dies are amazing, right? I mean, it's like paper dolls. Like you're making all these cute little, you know, paper animals. There are a lot of stamps and there are a lot of dies. I was going to do a calendar and then maybe some other projects, but the calendar was so intensive. Like it's a huge project. And I think by the time you're done with the calendar, by the time I'm done prepping this class, I won't be able to probably move. So it's gonna be just the calendar, um, but it's gonna use the Menagerie mix-up and every little month, you're gonna get the, can the calendar itself and all the supplies to make a little calendar card for each month. These guys are crazy cute. And I will tell you that this was probably the hardest class <laughs> I've ever planned. It was tough um, to try to arrange the animals in different scenes and different settings because I really didn't want to pull in any other stamp sets. I don't want, other than sentiments, which I'll mention that in a second, I didn't want you to feel like you had to have a bunch of different stamp sets um, to make this. So it's so, so, so cute. I It turned out cuter than I even thought that it could. Um, so that's going to come. I'll probably publish that either Sunday or Monday. Um, the class will come with or without the, the bundle. A pack of paper, a pack of rhinestones, a pack of twine. You'll get all of that. The two sentiment stamp sets that I use, the thing is it doesn't have any sentiments. It doesn't have any words. So which was also kind of tricky, you know, like what words do you use on a calendar? So I pulled in these two sentiment stamps. I was going to try to stick with a wish for everything, but I couldn't do it. I had to pull in well said also. So to make yours exactly like mine, you'll need both of these stamp sets. 
but you guys look at your stamps. I mean, so so many of our stamp sets have words that we can use. Um, so don't feel like um, when you buy this class, you also have to buy these two. If you want to, of course you can, and they will be um, an add-on at, at cost. I will um, add them onto your kit at cost. Um, but don't feel like you can't make the calendar without these if you already have lots of other stamp sets. And you know, you could even, I was even thinking on some of them. I mean, why couldn't you just leave the sentiment off? This one's cute. Hope this new year is filled with promises of many bright tomorrows for January. But even if you left the words off, it would still be super cute, right? Oh, I forgot. You'll also get a little easel to put it on. Okay. Isn't that cute? See, and then every month, whoops, every month you'll change. Where did it go? Where did it go? I just had the January. Oh, it's right here. See, you'll put that right there. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. It was a it was a lot of brain, <laughs> brain power to get every single one totally different. I pulled out all my dies. I will do all the, the die cutting for you, like you know, the other die cuts that aren't the actual menagerie die cuts. Um, so it will come with lots of little pieces. So anyway, be looking for that. I haven't even worked out the price yet. Um, but it is coming. It is forthcoming Monday, Sunday, Monday, something like that. Okay. Okay. Thank you, buddy, for sharing. Um, let's talk about prizes. Um, I forgot to draw prizes last week. So I have those three winners. All right. The Mary Hello is the hostess stamp set in, or the host stamp set in the, um, holiday catalog. Lori Jacobs, Dauberdew. I know your name. I have your address too. Don't worry. <laughs> Judy Thompson. That's her alias. All right, ladies. Thank you. If I, if you message me your address, it'll be much faster than me having to go track it down. Okay. I don't know if I have all three of yours. Lori, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You guys, I have hundreds and hundreds of names in my address book. So forgive me if I forget. Okay. And then from last week, don't stop believing. Lisa Carter, I have your address. She's on my team. And Debbie Green. Debbie, I think I have your address too. All right, so how do they win these prizes? They shared the video last week on Facebook. Um, when you share, you get your name entered into a drawing um, for a prize. So the next prize will be Press On. I've got two Press On stamp sets. I love this stamp set. I hope it carries over. It's a good one. Okay, so share and then comment that you shared so that I can see because I can't always see that you've shared if you have. Okay. We're cleaned off. I think we're ready to stamp, yay. So if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I do, I pick, oh, I forgot to mention this. Curvy Celebrations, don't forget about these awesome products that are not in the catalog. Um, oh, I forgot to say something, let's go back. Um, I don't know if these are included in the 10% um, off. I was just gonna say that, but what, what I meant to say, what I forgot to say, 10% off everything in the annual catalog. If you are a demonstrator, you get 20% off all your purchases. So on Tuesday, demonstrators not only get 20% off, they get an additional 10% off, which is 30% off these the annual catalog products. So if you're interested in that, I would encourage you to buy the starter kit and then on Tuesday, you can put in another order and get everything 30% off. I think that's a pretty awesome idea. Now, um, the other option is if you buy the starter kit on Tuesday, everything that's 10% off will be added to your starter kit at that discounted price. So for $99, you'll get $125 in product of your choice. And if you add things that are on sale, the sale price will be added in. So you'll get even more for your $99. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Starter kit, if you want to get it early, so that then on Tuesday you can just go crazy. Because when you buy a starter kit, you can't go over $125. Um, if you have a big list, you could get the starter kit this weekend. And then on Tuesday, put in your first order and you'll get the your demonstrator discount plus an additional 10% off. That's what I meant to tell you and I got distracted. I think that's a really cool option. Okay, back to this. Today, I pick a bundle and we are doing the Sweetest Time Bundle. Um, and I make three projects. And then if you like the three projects and you want them, I will send them to you for free. 
if you put in an online order by Monday at midnight, and here's the host code, you need to use the host code, and the order has to be $35 or more. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code, and I'll still send you the projects for free. They come like this. These are some from the past. I keep one so that just in case they don't arrive, I have one to send. Um, I do most of the die cutting work for you, um, except for what's like this one was curvy keepsakes. I didn't cut anything that the curvy keepsake dies cut. Okay, and so today your kits, if you get this kit, you have to have these dies and this stamp set. I don't do any of the stamping and I don't do any of the cutting with what I'm featuring. I don't do any stamping. You gotta do all the stamping yourself. Um, so you'll need the stamps and die and ink and scissors and adhesive. I send you everything else, okay? So like, um, like right here, I'll send you these circles punched and cut already, okay? Okay, that's that. Let's get started. And let's see. Now, Jill, I saw that you're here. Um, Jill sent me um, some things. She, she said, she was so sweet. She said, I need to make gift boxes for these. And I don't, I don't know how to make a gift box. And I was so excited because I love a challenge. So this week's projects are for Jill right? Or based on what Jill has sent me. I'm going to skip this back a little bit. Now, I, <laughs> on a side note, I sent my daughter, my teenager was going shopping with her friends. I said, please go bath, go in Bath and Body Works and see if you can find anything that's peppermint flavored, right? And so she came back with this, Twisted Peppermint Fragrant Mist. Fragrance Mist. I don't know, is that perfume or is that room spray? I think that's perfume. I'm not sure how that would smell. But anyway, she loves all their perfumes. So if you have a teenager, this would be a great gift for them. Anyhow, um, Jill sent me this um, antibacterial hand spray, which is excellent. They have several of these. And they have other things in this size, this bottle. So just so that you know, this box will also fit these as well. Jill, I had designed something else for her, a, a closed box. But I wanted you to know that this also will fit the spray. Okay? the hand sanitizer spray, which is, who doesn't need a hand sanitizer spray these days? My goodness. <laughs> okay. All right. So now let's get started. The other thing I'm using on this project is the, um, hello, most wonderful time product medley refill, medley refill kit. In case you're not familiar with that, let me go back. This is something that came from last year's holiday catalog. It's this right here. The product medley is this big thing right here. It's $70, includes the stamps, the dies, all this. I'm not using these stamps and dies, but I'm using the paper because the paper's gorgeous, okay? Um, and if you don't want the stamps and dies, you can buy just the refill kit, which is the papers, um, the tinsel, and stars for $26. So, if you're gonna make these, you can buy just the refill kit and you're gonna get all the, the paper. Look at this paper. Um, when I pulled it out, I realized it had candy canes. Let's see, where is it? Candy canes. So I'm like, hello, I've gotta use that with this peppermint stuff, okay? And look at that. I didn't end up using this print, but I love it. It's um, got a metallic foil. And then look, even candy cane stickers. So this coordinates really, really well with the Sweetest Time stamp set and dies that we're gonna do. Okay, let's go ahead and start by making our box. Now, the color combo here is a little weird. I'm using real red and, hold on, I gotta grab my real red. Real red and magenta madness. Weird, right? That doesn't seem like a combo, you'd think. But look, it has magenta madness on it. And this has what I'm thinking, I didn't look, but I think it's um, flirty flamingo. So it works, pink and red. It works. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do, let me get my PDF. Remember, all the measurements are right here for you. The PDF is free, you guys. It's under the last photo. You can download it, save it, print it, do whatever you want. Hi, Joy. Um, Susan, Twisted Peppermint is awesome. I haven't smelled it. <laughs> I don't know. I need to smell it. I'm glad you say it's awesome. You know, what's not awesome at Bath and Body Works? They're pretty awesome. All right, this is Whisper White Thick, nine and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And we're gonna score the short side first at one and five eighths. And five eighths is this little line after the half inch, the half inch mark. And then on the other side, it is three and a fourth. 
okay? Then turn it to the long side, and we're gonna do five and a half, and seven and an eighth. Now we're gonna come back up here to three, and we're gonna draw or score a line at three, stopping at that horizontal score line. I'm gonna flip it over and do it on the other side too. This isn't actually a fold line, this is just a cut line, so I know where to trim this off, okay? Okay, so now, of course, my bone folder and everything is buried under my adhesive. Do you guys get like this where you have like 5,000 adhesive <laughs> sheets? <laughs> I never finish them and they just keep piling up and make taking space. All right, somewhere in here is my bone folder. I just used it this morning. Okay, here it is. Of course, it's on the very, very bottom. Why wouldn't it be? Um... By the way, speaking of this morning, I filmed all of these in clean recordings. So if you're wanting to come back and make this or, or the other projects and you don't wanna have to try to go through the whole Facebook Live, um, there will be individual videos over on YouTube and they're linked under the photos on today's blog post. Okay, so now remember, this is, the, this is gonna be the top. This is that three inch mark. We're just going to cut this off from that score line all the way up, okay? I'm just gonna cut that little section off. Um, Tracy, it's called Sweetest Time. It's got a weird name again. Lately the names have been odd. Sweetest Time, okay? It's in the holiday catalog. All right, so then snip these score lines. And now this, we're gonna easily put this together like this. Look, ta-da, done, easy, super easy. Before we do that, let's round the corners on the punch I can never remember the name of, detailed trio punch. Oh, I put it in all caps on the PDF <laughs> so that I would remember it. All right, and then I have cut two pieces of that um, DSP. Um, Oh, look, maybe I should make it with the green on the, no, no, we're gonna stick with the pink and red. Um, I have cut two pieces of that DSP and I'm gonna round the corners on the longer one. And let me get my adhesive. Irene, are you guilty of, it here, of um, hoarding adhesive? I know, me too. Sometimes I'm like, okay, Erica, let's finish all these half or almost finished packages before you open something else. Good grief. And, or I'll lose, you guys know how bad I am with losing things. I'll lose my roll of glue dots and I open another one. And then I have like three rolls of glue dots open. All right, I put adhesive on the outside of the two center tabs. I'm gonna fold them up into the back like that, right? And then I'm gonna put adhesive on the inside of the other tabs and fold it in. And I'm using Stampin' Seal Plus. And there you have it. You know, this could hold a lot of things. <laughs> Candy, uh, maybe, um, you know, those tall and skinny chocolates. This this little box is pretty handy, whoops. All right, now I've got another piece of that same, whoa, I almost put adhesive on the wrong side. Another piece of the adhesive. Um, Brandy, you still have a ton of fast views. I know, I actually don't. Um, why did you flip over paper when clipping corner? Um, just because, just because, I mean, there's no reason. I just, I mean, so that I could slip it in like that. I could have done it like that, but I just flipped it like that. That's the only reason. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. I only have one of these. I usually buy three of them, but my daughter bought it, so I only have one. Okay, we've got that. Now, we are going to stamp the sentiment. The, the font is really cute in this stamp set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stamp that there for you with Christmas cheer. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I smear my red ink. I already did it. I smear my red ink a lot. It doesn't dry as quickly as all the others. Whoa. So today when I was making my little clean recording, I had ink everywhere. So hopefully I don't do that today. All right, now I'm gonna close that. Close it, get magenta, and let's do the little peppermint in magenta. I'm not sure I've ever seen a pink peppermint 
but you know I'd be all over it if I did. Okay, let me make a path for my for my cut and emboss machine. Oh, oh hello, handle has to go this way, Erica. All right, so now this die set has a tiny little circle for this peppermint. Of course it does. It also has this where you can cut this one like in red and this one in white and have a little paper pieced peppermint, which we were gonna do on Monday for Jill's other box, for her soap box. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Nail polish and an emery board. Heather, that's a great idea. That box would be perfect for that. I agree. Okay, so now I have a stitched circle, real red, that was cut with the stitched shape dies. This is the second biggest one. And I've got a two inch circle from the DSP. And I'm going to put my dimensionals here, get this piece, put that there. And now all we have left is that tiny cute little peppermint, which I'm gonna use a baby dimensional. And there we go. Now all we have left is to put this on here with, you guessed it, more dimensionals and done. This box is really easy. This is one that I would not be worried about making a bunch because I think that's pretty quick. No real serious stamping, cutting, you know, measurements, all that. It's pretty easy and you can make a bunch of them. I, they, I don't know if you guys are on, if you have Bath and Body Works, if you're on their email list, they're sending emails every single day. Every day something is on sale. Yesterday, what, or maybe was it today, all the men's fragrances are on sale. The other day it was all the wallflowers on sale. So if you like this, these little, um, you know, fragrance mists or the spray, just watch your emails until they go on sale and then you can buy a bunch of them and give them as gifts. Yeah, Brandy, I had that right here, look. Look, ha, huh? it's not the right colors, but just change the stamps and the color of the paper and it fits perfectly. Now, one thing I was gonna tell you guys too, it. It's, you know, it's just sitting in there. So if you tipped it over, it will, it will come out. So you can put a little dimensional on the bottom and stick it. And then look, our dimensionals are pretty strong, but then they can also pull it out. All right. To keep that in place, just put a dimensional down there. All right. What do you guys think? You like it? Joy, you're getting a puppy and her name is Peppermint Patty. Stop it, Joy. That is adorable. What kind of puppy is she? Oh, I love puppies. My puppy is 10 months old now. She's a big girl. She just got home from the groomers. She hates going to the groomers. She acts like she's being sent to the firing squad. Okay, let me get all of this out of the way and we will do the card next. Let's see, let me grab my other thing over here. And let's make some room. Okay, now this card, we're gonna use these really cool die, these edge dies. Um, she's a mini Bernadoodle. Burn so what is that a mix of? She's a mini Bernadoodle um, Labrador. And I don't know, I, I have never heard that. Is it Labrador? Like a... What are those other real, real popular dogs right now? The um, Labradoodle. So it's not a Labrador then. What's the doodle part? <laughs> I don't know. Can't remember. Um, okay. So here we go. Um, this die is the edge die right here. Okay. And so you could do the same thing with a Bernie Mountain Dog. That's kind of what I was thinking. Poodle, of course. Duh, Erica. That's the doodle part. Okay, Joy, you're gonna have to share some pictures because I don't think I've ever seen that mix of dog before. A Bernese Mountain at dog and a poodle. Cute. They say anything mixed with a poodle is like the perfect dog. I had a, a oh, what was my dog? Is my mom on here? What was our dog? She was a poodle and a Cocker Spaniel. What's that called? I can't remember. A 
Mm, I can't remember. Anyway, but they say they're they're great dogs. Anything mixed with a poodle. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so this die will do this. We're going to do this on Monday. I'll stop talking. I know I'm being distracted. I start talking about puppies and I get distracted. Okay. So we're going to cut this out of, let me get all of this over here. Um, this is a mossy meadow. Is it a cockapoo, Antoinette? That suddenly didn't sound right, but you're right. It is. It's a cockapoo. When I said it in my head, it didn't sound right but you're right. She was cute. She was a good dog. Okay. Her name was Cricket. Mossy Meadow. Card base. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to focus. Half sheet of cardstock cut on the long side at five and a half, scored at four and a fourth. We're going to take this die and notice that there are salt, like solid leaves and then more open leaves. You want the open leaves to be facing towards the seam of the card and the solid leaves to be facing on the outside. Okay, and this line right here is gonna cut off that half. So I'm gonna lay this down, and in order to keep it there, I've got my trusty post-it tape. Make sure it doesn't look like it's straight. And I'm gonna stick it down with my post-it tape, okay? Post-it tape, you can get anywhere. I get mine from Amazon. Um, you can, I, I'm sure you can get it at the office store, office supply stores. It's just a roll of tape that's like post-it sticky. And it's awesome. All right, so hold it down there. You can also just use a post-it note if you have those, but I like having the tape because it's, it seems like it's more sticky. So this is a really intricate, intricate die and I wanna make sure that it cuts through really well. So before I take it off, let's look. I think it's okay. Let's look if this is gonna pull off. Um, when you have a really, really intricate die, sometimes you need to either use a shim. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it upside down. This is another thing you can do. Flip it upside down and run it through upside down. Hopefully I didn't knock it sideways. All right. And usually when you go upside down, yeah, look at that. I mean, the stuff just falls out. Something about doing the die upside down makes a huge difference. Okay, so now we'll get all the little doodads out. There we go. I've got my dye brush here somewhere, right here. This is a little attachment you can get for your take your pick tool. Just run those real gentle because it does become kind of delicate. Look at that, isn't that neat? I love it. Okay, so now I've got a piece of um, pear pizzazz that is the size of the card front. And I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna adhere it down onto the pear pizzazz. So to do that, you could use the adhesive sheets. You guys know I love the, ad the adhesive sheets, but this has so many little, you know, doodads that I felt like the adhesive sheet might be complicated. It would work, but it would take some time to kind of, you know, get them all out and then they would be sticking to you and stuff. So I'm going to do it this way. This is my disgusting uh, craft sheet, which I remembered this morning. I did not put this on the um, supply list. We do sell this. Let me come over here. Um, and I have several of them. We're going to use it, another one in the next project for something else. All right, where is my red paper that I had this morning? What, where'd it go? Okay, well, we'll just use the back of this. All right, so I'm gonna take a tiny sliver. Uh-oh, the, um, <laughs> the wheels are coming off. I'm already losing stuff and we're not on the third project. That's not supposed to happen until the third project. Okay, so I'm gonna get that Tombow and I'm going to tap it. I'm holding my card in place so it doesn't slide and slip and get any of this adhesive on it, but I'm going to just put adhesive all over and then I'm going to take my tape runner and do that, my stamp and seal. I'm going to line this up right here with the edge of the card, the back of the card, and then I'm going to lay that down. Okay. And then Oh, don't lay it on your paper, Erica. Hello, <laughs> your paper. You know, I'm probably like, wait, don't do it. But then it's okay. And then there you have a beautiful card. 
Oh my goodness. I, you know what I was thinking about is that my dogs are in the backyard barking their heads off at the new neighbors. We have brand new neighbors and I can hear them going crazy. Okay, now let's do the stamping part. You know, I was supposed to have two of these. Do I have two of these? I had to refilm my first video this morning because I filmed the whole thing and then realized the camera wasn't rolling. So this is the third time I've done this project today. Fun times when that happens. Fun, fun times. All right, a four by five and a fourth inch piece of Whisper White on the inside because this is dark cardstock and you'll have a hard time writing on it. Okay, so now let's do our stamping. I'm gonna use my Stamparatus with the candle stamp because I found that it's a real big photopolymer stamp and sometimes with a real big um, solid photopolymer stamps, you have a hard time getting the impression um, or the image stamped in the middle. So if you use your Stamparatus, if that happens, then you can just lay it back down and fill it in where, um, you know, where it didn't stamp. All right, now for some reason, let's see. Oh, like a glove. It's like I'm a professional. Sometimes it looks that way. Sometimes it doesn't when I lay my card down in adhesive. <laughs> okay, um, for some reason, this die set doesn't have the candle dies. Oh, I'm sure that would have made it more expensive, however, I would have liked to have the candle dies, but that's okay. We don't have them. So we're going to go old school and we're going to fussy cut. Remember back in the day when we didn't all have a die cut machine and we had to cut things out by hand? That's what we're going to do. I know. Okay, now I'm going to put this little flame on all three of them. Well, you know what? I think I will cut that one out. I got an idea for the third one. I didn't do this originally, but... I have an idea. All right, so I'm gonna cut them out using the power of my hands. <laughs> I'm trying to sell those of you out there saying, nope, I'm not gonna fuzzy cut. Uh, Irene, you saw me set that down? Yeah. You know, that is, that is pretty typical of me, just a hot mess. And again, it's because I'm in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry. I wanna get this done, then I wanna get that done, then I gotta do this, I gotta do that. I'm always in a hurry. But luckily, that glue, I hadn't used much of it and it was mostly dry. All right, so see how I just went around the flame? Don't stress about it. I mean, really. No one is going to be looking at your flame. They're gonna be looking at the gorgeous holly border that we cut. And they're gonna be like, how in the world did she do that? Or how in the world did he do that? Depending on who's making the card, right? Okay, um, this morning I was thinking um, back in the day when I was in college, which has now been 25 years, um, I got into scrapbooking from one of my best friends in college. She was making these amazing scrapbooks. And uh, so she got me hooked on a scrapbooking and we would go to this store called MJ Designs. Do you guys remember that store? It was like Michael's. I don't think that MJ Designs is in um, business anymore. This was in Waco, Texas. Um... And we would, they would have these tall towers with all these die cuts that you could buy. They were already cut out. <laughs> you know, we didn't have a die cut machine. They were, ha they were already cut. So you could just pick them and they would be like 50 cents and you'd buy whatever shapes that you wanted. Um, now you can buy die cuts that are packaged, but these were like literally someone stood at a machine, cut them all out, put them in the drawer and you, and you bought them. I, I remember having tons of those. Tons and tons and tons of those. And then I remember getting a Cricut, like early on when my kids were very, very small. And that was a game changer. Jessica, you rem remember MJ Designs? I don't think they're in business anymore. I do not think so. Now, for some reason this morning, I only pulled out one of these holly leaves. I'm gonna pull out the other ones because there's two different sizes and we have two different dies. So that way I don't have to run it through twice. But anyway, that just made me, when I was thinking about, you know, fussy cutting being old school, I thought, oh gosh, I remember really old school when we would go buy die cuts that someone else had, died, had cut out. <laughs> I had like a corporate store, like, you know, Michael's or whatever. Okay, 
Now, let me get this all cleaned up. I've got all these little doodads. This, um, this little holly berry stamp scared me because I thought, oh my gosh, I, that's going to be difficult to hold on to. However, look, Sam and I was so smart, they made the die so that it's going to cut it out in one piece. So you don't have to worry about um, trying to get those tiny little circles in place. Um, it'll just be one piece and it's so much easier. We have brand new neighbors moving in. The house next to us has been for sale since early May, which in our neighborhood is very unusual. Um, they sold it to some investors. The house was, um, I don't know, maybe it needed some work. Um, and they sold it to some investors and the investors did some work. They painted it, they put in some flooring and it just wouldn't sell. And uh, finally it sold and there's four kids in that house. My And my kids know some of them. So they're excited to have new kid neighbors. But my point of the story is that my dogs are barking their heads off and they're probably thinking, oh my gosh, what did we do? <laughs> we bought a house next to people with three schnauzers. What did we do? All right, Old Olive. We're going to stamp the sentiment in Old Olive. Oh, Carol, you're so sweet. Thank you. Let's see. All right, love and light to you. That's a nice sentiment. You you only see my best projects, Carol. You don't see the things that go in the trash. You don't see <laughs> the things that mess up. Believe me, there are just as many. Okay, so I'm going to take the tall... Um, candle and put it there with a dimensional. And I'm going to take one of the shorter candles. I'm going to overlap it like that. And then I'm going to get my large, thank you, Jan, my large leaf and my smaller leaf. Oh my gosh, these things that come out of that die are everywhere. I can't. <laughs> I keep thinking I've, you know, swept them all away and I keep finding them all day. Okay. And thank you, Sharon. You guys, so sweet. And put that on with a dimensional. See how that's just three little dots, but it's connected in one. And wouldn't that make great bubbles? That looks like a bubble stamp. There we go. Okay. So now where's my card? Where did it go? Hello, right here. I'm gonna put this on with a dimensional, which, oh, Erica, it's right here, right here. I think that's why I have so many open adhesives because I don't know where I put them. All right, put that right there. And then, remember this candle, this third candle? Let's put it down here. And I think you could put dimensionals on the inside of a card. What do you guys think? I think that's just fine. You're gonna need an extra stamp probably, or the the 79, what is it, 79 cent stamp? The square, um, the square envelope stamp. I just buy all, all my stamps now are that, are not the forever stamps, they're the one up, the 79 cents, 74 cents, because basically everything I mail, <laughs> every card I mail has a lot of dimension on it. It's worth it, I think, an extra 20 cents or so. Okay, and there we have it. I just put this braided linen trim. I was also thinking the real red braided linen trim would look just as nice there along the fold of the card. I love this card. I like Mossy Meadow with Pear Pizzazz and I really like those candles. I think they're so cute. I don't think I've ever had a candle stamp before. Very unique. Okay, one more project, one more. You know what, I want to get that other project too. Let me grab that. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna make on Monday. I don't wanna to forget to show you. Okay, let me clear off all of this mess and let's make the last one. Now, these Ghirardelli peppermint, I wonder if I can set that there, let's see. These Ghirardelli peppermint, bark chocolates are everywhere. You can find these pretty much in every single grocery store, don't you guys think? They make a quick and easy gift. Um, so this is what they look like, and they just slide out of this little, this little, I'm calling it a sleeve. It's just a little sleeve to hold it, okay? Just a little, see how it holds it? 
After I made this, last weekend I was in Five Below. I don't know if you guys have Five Below at your, in, wherever you live. Um, but I saw these. And I bet, because I've seen the Ghirardelli, the regular flavors in this size. So I bet you can find them like at CVS, Walgreens, Walmart. That's where I usually find them. Um, but anyway, I found these and I thought, well, if you like the person a lot, you could give them the big size. <laughs> and then you could just slide it in and it fits perfectly like that. Look. All right, now if it's just somebody you kind of like, you can just give them the small ones, like that. <laughs> okay, I don't remember how much these were, maybe a dollar, but these come in a big bag, like this. Big bag, and uh, dark peppermint bark, peppermint bark. All right, yummy, delicious. If you can't find them or you don't wanna go out, I linked them on Amazon so you can find them, okay? Um, Tina, hi, Tina. Tina sent me the best email yesterday. It made me cry, Tina. And I read it to my husband yesterday and it made me cry again. Tina, Tina says she found some Russell Stover peppermints at the Dollar Tree. Russell Stover peppermints. Mmm, that sounds delicious. I love anything for a dollar too. <laughs> I know. Okay, let me show you how to make this. It's really easy. Really, really easy. Let me get all my stuff. All you're going to need. Whoa, hold on about to drop everything. All you're gonna need is a piece of Whisper White Thick that is two by six and a half. And you are going to, um, <laughs> Brandy, make me laugh. Um, you're gonna score at three and three and a half. She said these would be great for a craft fair. Someday, hashtag COVID. Yeah, I know, I know, hashtag. Sooner rather than later, right? Gotta have wishful thinking. Okay, so now um, this is the scallop um, tag topper. Am I, am I saying the right thing? Hold on, let me make sure I, I say that, I tell you the right thing. This is the, oh, I forgot to show you something else. Mm. I'm looking at my PDF and I forgot to show you the projects for the next um, Club Create. I'll show you that at the end, okay? This is the scallop tag topper punch. Yeah, that sounds like it should be something else. I don't know. It sounds like too simple of a name. Scallop tag topper. Just punch both ends. I love the tag topper punches. They're awesome. We have several of them. All right, so now fold those in. And let me get my chocolates. Let's do the big ones. Where did I put the big ones? Put those there like that. And then I'm going to take my ribbon and thread that through. This is the real red sheer ribbon. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, jeez. It's like a giant hole and I can't thread it through. Okay, now tie this. I'm all thumbs today. Like that. There we go. Like that. And pull those. I probably cut off too much ribbon. I don't know, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it long like that. If you have lots of ribbon, you could do that. Okay, now let's make the cute little, the candy cane heart. Now, we only have, this stamp set only has one candy cane, but we need the candy cane, one to face that way, one to face that way. So we're gonna do mirror stamping. We've done mirror stamping many times here on Facebook Friday, and we're gonna do it again. I love this technique. So I've got my stamparatus. And I've got a silicone mat. This is my mirror stamping silicone mat. The other one is my glue silicone mat. I've got them for various reasons. I have one for my hot glue gun too. You know, to put under your hot glue gun, it's perfect. Um, so you can see, remember when we did the cat and the cup? These are all Facebook Friday projects. Um, so anyway, I've got it here. I've got the silicone mat. I've got the candy cane here on the plate. And I'm going to ink it in real red. And I'm going to lay it down and stamp it onto the Whisper White paper. Then I'm going to, I mean, stamp it onto the silicone mat. Then I'm going to lay the Whisper White paper down, rub it, lay it back down again, just so that we can see where we're going to die cut. And then pick it up and look, there it is, facing the other way. So now I'm going to stamp it regular, okay, because we need one facing the regular way. All right. I love mirror stamping. It's fun makes me feel like I'm doing a magic trick or something. Um, let's see, I think that's all I'm gonna die cut on this project. So I'll go ahead and bring this over. 
Now, the reason I laid that stamp back down after I laid the white paper down is so that when I go to lay my die, this is the one that's stamped correctly. But when I go to stamp the one that's backwards, I won't be able to cut it out because the die is backwards, right? Well, when we flip the paper over, the, the image on the back, which was just the second stamping, is there so we'll know where to cut. Okay, so this would also be great for, you know, if you make a card that has a hole and it has something that spins, I don't know if I'm describing that right, you know, like a window and you put a string and you have an image there and you want it to like spin, this would be good for that mirror stamping so that the same image is stamped on the front and the back identically. Identically, is that a word? In I the identical fashion, the same. <laughs> See what happens when I try to use big words? I don't use them right. <sighs> Kindergarten teacher doesn't know how to use big words, only small words. Okay, now, real red. This is where I got in trouble with the ink today. I got really, really messy. So I'm gonna set it with my heat tool. The real red will dry on its own. I, it just takes a minute and I don't have a minute because we're on live Facebook. So I'm going to just set it with my heat tool. Okay. All right. Now, I know Elizabeth, isn't that smart? Not my original idea. I cannot claim to have invented that. Whoever thought of that was a genius. Okay, now again, we're gonna go old school and we're gonna cut out the sweetest season with our scissors. This reminds me of old school scrapbooking too. Remember when you would just get your scissors and you would just cut around stuff and you didn't care that it was perfect. That's what we're doing here too. <laughs> because the sentiment's just too big um, for this project and I really wanted to use the words. So I'm just gonna do a bubble around it and it's gonna be cute. And I'm not gonna worry that it's not perfect. It's just gonna be a bubble word. And there we go. See, that's cute. That's very cute if I do say so myself. All right, I have a Whisper White Scallop Circle, another piece of the um, Most Wonderful Time Product Medley Refill Kit. Say that three times. <laughs> um, two inch circle of that paper right there. Then I'm gonna get some mini dimensionals. Hi, Carol. Hi, Nancy. Glad you could join us. I, um, for those of you that joined late, I'm going to be live every day next week, except for Thursday. I'm going to do a Facebook live at 10 a.m. Central, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And then the following week, I'll be live every day at two o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, Friday, we're driving out to West Texas for my daughter's birthday. So I won't be here on Friday. But then we'll resume Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the following week, 12 days of Facebook Live. Okay. All right, we'll put that there. Let's bring over our cute little sleeve and get my, <laughs> what is the deal with the dimensionals today? I'm not gonna say it. Somebody's gonna make a drinking game from my Facebook Live. They're gonna say every time Erica says, where did it go? Take a drink because I say it a lot. <laughs> Oh, it's too early in the day for that. Now, I was gonna leave it at this, but I felt like it needed a little something else. So I cut a tiny little snowflake from this, those snowflake dies. And I'm just gonna put this in the center of the bow because we are not going to untie the bow, right? You don't need to untie this bow. So I'm just gonna put it on there with a blue dot. Look at that. Tequila shots, Irene. Oh no, we'd all be passed out by dinner time. All right, and there you have it. Cute, right? A little sleeve. Um, where did my third, oh, almost said it again. Locating my third one, there we go. So you can make them for the small or the long. I love that project, I love red and white together. Okay, so today we made these 
we made the card and we made the peppermint room spray. I only have one. I'm going to have to go buy two more and leave it for my mail lady. She needs lots of gifts this year. Now, if you want these projects for free, put in your online order by Monday at midnight using the host code here, and I will uh, cut them Tuesday morning and mail them on Wednesdays. You have to have it in by the time I wake up on Monday, I mean on Tuesday, okay? Um, now, Tuesday, actually, ooh, we're going to really have to stick to that midnight deadline because Tuesday starts the big sale, and Tuesday, I've got some other things I'm going to send you if you put in an order on Tuesday. Okay, so we're going to say this week, strictly Monday at midnight. All right. Um, and then I will let you know Monday during Facebook Live what you can get on Tuesday if you order on Tuesday. Um, now, Monday, I'll be live again at 2 o'clock to show you this box. This box has handmade soap in it. And the box was made exactly for the soap. And I'm gonna show you on Monday how you can take something that you wanna make a box for and you can use your grid paper to measure to make the box. So we're gonna make this on Monday, okay? All right, okay. I think that's it. No, no, wait, I needed to show you guys. I didn't even get them. Do I have them ready to show you? Hold on, hold on. If you wanna see the projects, hold on. Hmm, I don't know where they are. What did I do with them? I said it again. Well, maybe I can't show you those. I had them right here. Oh, here they are. I have a big mess, you guys, on the floor. You don't want to see what's on the floor of my office. Hold on. I'm getting it. Hold on. It's coming. You're, you're going to be excited. Look what is in the box. You guys, I've got to throw them away. They're so good. Have you guys bought them yet? There's not many left. Look. I needed to throw them away. They're so good. Okay, now, Club Create for December. Club Create for December is going to feature the freezing, freezing fun um, stamp set and dies. I couldn't do Christmas cards for Club Create in December because I mail them on the 20th of the month. So you won't get them in time to make Christmas cards. So these are going to be more like winter cards or just fun, you know, fun cards. So Freeze and Fun is December Club Create. You're going you're gonna to make four cards and one double Keurig or K-cup holder, hot, hot cocoa holder. Um, you, uh, Club Create is a subscription. Um, it's billed every month through PayPal or your credit card, and it's $39 a month. And it's it will renew automatically until you cancel it. And you can cancel it anytime you want. And after six months of being part of Club Create, um, you get a $25 product bonus, um, $25 in product of your choice. So if you're interested in Club Create, and you guys, even if you want to just join for one month to try it out, you're welcome to do that and cancel. That's totally fine. You can totally do that. Um, it's not going to hurt my feelings any either way. Um, but if you're interested in the freezing fun, cute little uh, winter projects for December, you have to be subscribed by um, December 7th. Okay. And I think that's it, right? That's it. All right. So there's that. There's all the stuff. I had. I knew I had lots of stuff to tell you guys, and I just didn't even get through it all. I had so much. Okay, that's it. I will see you guys Monday at 2 o'clock. Make sure you go print out your PDF with your measurements and your products, and it'll have our little schedule of 12 Days of Christmas Facebook Lives coming up starting on Monday with lots of prizes. All right, you guys, I hope you'll join me. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.